being an artist it's yeah it's like a lifetime thing 24 hour thing you know but that's why I like it because it bleeds into life really well people need to think more about that too it's like you gotta live life to make the art so like let yourself live life too because that that's that's it that's the key bro the key to being happy an artist balance I ain't never been scared Say fuck it instead Then it's off with your head Leave your ass on red Bounce with it dog Move your shoulders, ass get stuck Shake it fast, girl, go miss it Oh God, say it fast like Twister Have it, 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 have it Sure, okay Um, okay, so just kick it off by just introducing yourself Name, occupation and where you live. Yeah, um, well, my name is Sam Ahmed. Um, 26, experimental hip hop musician from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I also go by Webster X. That's how people know me. Um, and he said where I live. I already said that, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Freshman year of college, there was just a lot of stuff happening like in hip hop that was kind of changing like the landscape um, and allowing just people that are different, you know what I'm saying? To like, the, specifically the people that are black and different to have a lane in hip hop. So you know, like Odd Future was out that time, ASAP Rocky and them were out that time, um, Josh Gambino, all those kind of artists. So that allowed me, I started to realize that I was like really connecting with it. I don't think I really made a conscious decision though to be like, yo, I'm about to be a rapper because they're doing it. It was more so me seeing them and I think subconsciously that kind of just started to make me more comfortable because, yeah, growing up, I was always into music though. Didn't plan to be an artist or a musician, but I was always into music. At first, when I first started everything, I wanted to be like the rapper that would like, you know, like represent Milwaukee or like, not even represent necessarily, but just more so, I think the key, like the direct thing I said in my head was like, I want to be the, the first rapper like really pop out of Milwaukee because there isn't that. And I just want to be that. This is the old humble abode. This is where I grew up, ages probably, uh, I think we moved here when I was three, until I was 18. Um, so I went through high school here, middle school here. I'll go to Tosa, which is Wall Tosa Schooling, which was like, I don't know, like 50, 10 blocks away from here. And then uh, I would always come back here. And this is where I grew up playing basketball. As you can see, they set up cans, hood classic. If you don't know, you should Google cans. Also, you might not be able to Google cans. <laughs> Yeah, this is 3227, man, North 53rd, it's the old house. I just, I, I feel like I made things happen out of nowhere. Like I had nothing, no industry connects available to me. I had no real vision of art, bro. Like, when I look back on I'm like, you're just a normal ass teenager who like probably wasn't gonna do everything I'm doing right now. It's funny, I run into people in high school and they still like are like surprised, like we had no clue because I didn't show any signs of this. And that's a lesson to like, bro, tap into what's just calling you. Like people miss out on opportunities for themselves so many times because they're not going after what is just calling them in that moment. Like I'm so intuitive and I'm so, let me just run after what is making me feel happy, feel passionate at that time. The thing is, I want to just combat that whole narrative of, oh yeah, so I'm in Milwaukee, so psh, ain't shit gonna happen. Like, you know, just. Bro, we gotta instill possibility in people's heads. Um, and here's some of the stuff that worked for me. So, and I didn't have any of this stuff really to like available to me. So like, I'm gonna let y'all know it's possible. You just gotta like know how to navigate and you know, get your art out there. All this money I can make, this might make my feelings shake. Watch a couple interviews, then I learned that thought was fake. This might get a Grammy, yo. Fucking dog is from the soul. And I've never been the type to sell my soul for the gold. From the blind, so it's almost like a two-part thing. It's like the first part is go after what's calling you in that moment and don't settle, period. And then the other half of that is, okay, now you got this whole passionate thing you want to do. You got this whole thing. 
you can do it, bro. Like, you can just simply do it. It just sounds so plain and simple and corny, but bro, I'm telling you, like, you can do it because what goes into it is just trying. You gotta say things and say you're actually gonna do it, and then actually do these things and be professional and like have a plan and write stuff down in a journal and and just execute as much as you can and watch interviews, watch how other people have done it. That's been a huge one for me too. I just researched so much, and that's how I was able to learn how to do what I'm doing now. Cause once again, I, I'm from Milwaukee, bro. I don't have shit available to me, bro. Like there is no music industry. There are no people I can just go to. And like, there's not even really any, that when I was coming up, there wasn't any examples like of how to really make it either. So that's, yeah, that's what I want people to take away, man. Is just, yeah, you can just do it from anywhere and be anything, period. Thank <laughs> you.